In this video, we're going to take a look at how to configure your Adobe Dreamweaver to connect to a remote FTP server. First of all, we have to make sure that we can see the Files panel. You can activate the Files panel by going to the Window menu and selecting Files. This panel can be undocked. Let's go ahead and do that so we can have a better view. If you don't have a website configured, you can press the Manage Sites link that's directly on the upper right hand corner. Or you can click on this pull down menu and select Manage Sites. On the Manage Sites panel, you will generally see a list of different sites that you have previously configured. Since this is the first time we configure the software, we don't have any sites set up. Let's create a new site by pressing the New Site button. We have to give this site a name. And we also have to tell it where the local site folder is. We can click on this folder icon to navigate our computer and find the folder we wish to use for our website. Once you're inside of the folder, click the Select button. Before you hit the Save button, take a look at the Servers option. This will allow you to configure a remote server. Click the little plus icon and type in a server name. We'll go ahead and leave this connection as an FTP connection. For the address, we will use our domain name. We will provide our username as well as a password. We'll go ahead and leave the check mark on the save option and press the test button to test our connection settings. This prompt tells us that the connection was tested successfully. It is a good idea to provide a root directory for Dreamweaver to connect into. In this case, we want all of our public files to go directly into the public underscore HTML folder. So we'll go ahead and type that name here. Let's test the connection one more time. Excellent. However, notice that when we added this directory, the web URL has been changed. It's important that you modify this so that you do not have any broken links. In this case, we are telling Dreamweaver that the remote directory public underscore HTML will be equivalent to mydomain.com. Let's go ahead and click the Save button. And let's click the Save button one more time. Our website has now been added to the list of sites that you can now manage. Let's click the Done button to continue. The Files panel now displays all of the contents of that folder that we set up as our local folder. To look at the files on our remote server, we press the Connect button. And once the connection has been established, from the pull-down menu, we can select Remote Server. And we can see all of the files available on the remote server. Congratulations, you now know how to configure Adobe Dreamweaver.